passion, in my opinion, is um, a very important thing. Not everybody, and actually I think most of the people don't work on, on leg motion as, uh, as they work on all the other kind of motions that they do. Uh, especially on ankle motions, we may, sometimes we focus more on uh, the, the techniques itself, itself and not uh, on what actually starts uh, everything. Uh, in fact, in my opinion, the leg motion is the injection of everything we're going to do. For example, um, when we have to play uh, 30 second notes, pattern, patterns on the, on the drums, for example, for a breakdown, Sometimes I see drummers struggling with that part, with the beginning, where they kind of start that way and then they get rolling and uh, they start um, being able to play what they want. But um, what it, how it should be is that we should be able to start straight away to play um, with no problems. And that's possible using the leg motion as first stroke. In fact, the, if, we, if we use the weight of the leg, uh, that's actually what happens in the, in the leg motion, um, motion. It's using the leg to go against the force of the, of the spring. The spring is a, is a force that we have to deal with that wants to throw the beater back as um, the beater reaches um, the surface that we're playing on, in this case the pad. So uh, from there, dealing with this with small muscles like the articulation muscles of the of the ankle, it, it gets difficult. It, it it makes us lose control, and we either have to kind of do a pressing motion to beat that, or working on a release motion, which is starting already in a stress position, in a contracted position uh, against the spring putting the weight of our body in front and working on releasing the pedal instead of being relaxed, work with the leg motion and the weight of the leg against the spring and then take advantage of that, which is what I do. And this benefits me on being staying relaxed the whole time and not putting pressure on the knees, putting all the weight of my body uh, on, in, in, on the, in front. So on my legs, which damages your knees, uh, especially in the, in the swivel technique. Uh, and so, for this, um, for this reason, I really think leg motion is very important, and that's why I want to start from there and talk about this today. So, um, we will structure our lessons starting from a body control, which is uh, playing, uh, practicing without the pedal, practicing with uh, just working on our body and then um, we will do other steps to get to the final result uh, which is playing of course the pedal with the spring on. Um, basically the leg motion uh, works exactly how the upstroke and downstroke for our hand works so we raise our hand and uh, sorry we raise our arm leaving our hand relaxed and we do the same thing with our leg. We raise our leg in this uh, position and then we just let our arm go and the same way we let our leg go. So what happens is that when we release the leg, when we let it fall, the noise that we hear, the sound that we hear is a flat sound. It's not a, ta um, a flat sound. It's not a, a tap, but it's a flam. Because the toe uh, reaches the floor before the heel, because our ankle is completely relaxed. So, the, as uh, with the hand, where the fingers are um, in a lower position than the wrist, the same thing happens with our foot, where the toe the toes are lower in a lower position compared to the, the ankle. So it's exactly the same concept, the same mechanics that happens, just apply to the lower part of our body uh, and of course this requires us to put all the weight of our body on the seat and not in front if not we're gonna have hard times doing this motion but we're talking gonna talk about um, balance in another episode I want to focus on leg motion today 
So the first exercise that we have to do is we have to raise our leg and make sure that as we raise the leg our ankle is relaxed and we don't have tensions. We don't do anything like that. And we don't raise our toes or, or any any kind of contraction or or muscle or activation outside of this part of our leg, which of course is gonna work because it's gonna release, it's gonna sorry, it's gonna raise um, the leg. So the same thing um, has to be done with the left foot of course. And um, we can work on this for 60 seconds for each leg, leg. so 60 seconds uh, right leg, 60 seconds left leg, um, making sure that all our muscles are relaxed while we do this. It's very important to stay concentrated and it's very important to repeat this exercise for at least the whole week, um, once per day, 